Nafanya una stay focus, you concentrate. That's all the sports, but let's take a look at other news making headlines. Heads of religious institutions have been urged to ensure they have confirmed the registrar on the status of their charter's registration to avoid closure of their institutions. This comes as the government continues with a crackdown on rogue religious leaders. However, the religious leaders say Kenyans need to be sensitized on religion, claiming a majority of them had perished due to lack of knowledge. They spoke during a religious leaders' conference on governance. Position. Quarter next is a little easier because uh, quarter next, AJS will find nowhere else. Peace and conflict uh, transformation. And elders, in fact, the language we are now using is that. So we are not that easily mm -hmm. available. For the and days that, that have passed, have already been sharing with my leaders, and we have uh, really? planned to sit down and I take them through what I have learned today. And uh, they are also looking forward for such a, a, a forum again. And therefore, I would really recommend that uh, this becomes something like an annual program. We need to have systems, structures in place to meet all these needs and hopefully convert the people, let them know about Christ and let the society be transformed. If you try to individualize the running of those churches, then you run into the danger of fanaticism. And that's why we have the Shakaholas and the others. So for me, that's, that's the most important thing, that uh, they are sensitized and they begin to see the church as a corporate entity. We want to promote good governance practices in Kenya amongst the religious institutions. And I'm very glad that we had over 150 delegates from Wednesday that um, as, 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 the, as um, ICS or Institute, we are ready to partner with the University and the church.